a mechanical process involving an ideal gas. A vertical cylinder contains new moles of a monatomic ideal gas and is closed off by a piston of mass capital M area A. The whole system is thermally insulated. Uh, the downward acceleration due to gravity is G. Initially, the piston is clamped in position so that the gas has a volume, uh, initial volume B0, absolute temperature T0. The piston is now released and after some oscillations comes to rest in a final equilibrium position corresponding to smaller volume V and temperature T. Neglect any frictional forces which might prevent the piston from sliding freely within this cylinder. Neglect also the heat capacities of the piston and the cylinder. What must be the final mean pressure of the gas? By considering the work done on the gas and using your knowledge of the properties of an ideal monatomic gas, calculate the final temperature and final volume. Okay. So uh, this is the scenario. We have gas that's trapped in a vertical cylinder and initially the piston is clamped and we release the piston and we wait for equilibrium. So what will happen at equilibrium? Uh, at equilibrium, mechanical equilibrium here, we're going to have the pressure exerted by uh, pressure uh, exerted by the cylinder uh, exerted by the piston on the gas will be uh, P is equal to its weight mg force it's applying uh, per unit area A so this will be equal to at equilibrium the mean pressure of the gas so therefore, the answer I'm looking for for, uh, for the mean pressure is mg divided by area, cross-sectional area. And now part B. Uh, now I'm considering the work done on the gas. Uh, so let's see if this is a quasi-static process. The work done on the gas is a minus p bar dv and we have the constant pressure that's mg divided by area being applied on the gas so the total work done on the gas is minus uh, the integral uh, p bar dv but since the pressure is constant here it will be minus p bar uh, delta v so we have minus mg divided by the area uh, multiplied by final volume V minus initial volume V0. So we find that the work done on the gas is mg divided by area V0 minus V. Okay. And uh, note that this was a thermally insulated uh, cylinder so Q is equal to zero because we have a uh, thermal uh, thermally I I insulated uh, cylinder so the work done according to the first law of thermodynamics uh, must be equal to the change in the mean energy of the gas so this is equal to W now the mean energy of a monatomic gas is given as 3 over 2 new r t as we have calculated in the lecture uh, so the 3 over 2 r is the molar specific heat it comes from uh, uh, the, the translational kinetic energy of the center of mass since it's a monatomic ideal gas that's the only uh, contribution so if you look at the change in the mean energy of the system it will be equal to 3 over 2 new universal gas constant uh, final temperature minus initial uh, temperature so this must be equal to the work done which is uh, mg divided by area v0 minus v so i have two unknowns volume and temperature but i have 
only one equation here there is one more equation I can use that is the equation of state uh, this is an ideal gas the ideal gas law tells me that uh, P bar V is equal to mu R T so I can uh, write this as mg divided by the area times the volume is equal to nu r t in the final uh, configuration. So if I go back to my uh, delta E bar, in delta E bar I have, uh, so let's try to calculate uh, temperature here, 3 over 2 nu r uh, t so from delta e bar i have 3 over 2 nu r t minus uh, 3 over 2 nu r t0 equals to mg over a uh, v0 minus mg over a v which is mu r t so i substitute uh, mg over a v is equal to nu r t into uh, this part now i can isolate the temperature here so if i take uh, minus nu r t to the left hand side i i will obtain a uh, 5 over 2 nu r t is equal to mg divided by area v0 plus 3 over 2 nu r t0 so what i want to do is uh, multiply both sides by 2 so if i multiply both sides by 2 this is going to be 2 this 2 will disappear and this 2 will disappear so this is basically multiply both sides by 2 and uh, now I can isolate the temperature the temperature T then I can find uh, by dividing the right hand side with 5 uh, nu R so if you have 3 nu R divided by 5 nu R you will obtain 3 over 5 T0 plus uh, 2 mgv0 divided by 5 nu r area a so i have written my final temperature t in terms of the initial temperature t0 and initial volume uh, v0 as requested in uh, part b of the problem now i want to calculate volume well uh, i can use this equation uh, here so let me take a look at this equation now i have mg divided by area multiplied by v equals to nu r multiplied by temperature which is 3 over 5 uh, t0 plus 2 mg v0 divided by 5 nu r a so i multiply both sides with area so this area uh, will disappear i will introduce an area here and this area will disappear and then i will divide it by mg so if i divide it by uh, mg and i also operate the new r here so let me rewrite this one more time mg times the volume is equal to 3a over 5 nu r t0 plus 2mg v0 divided by 5 because the new r's will uh, disappear for this side and then I can isolate the volume volume is uh, dividing the right hand side by mg I have 2 over 5 uh, v0 plus 3 over 5 a nu r divided by mg t0 
So I was able to isolate the volume and obtain volume in terms of V0 and T0 as well. So I have a gas that is inside a cylinder, new moles monatomic. So it has new moles and it is monatomic. And the, the cylinder was initially clamped at a fixed position. And then I released the cylinder, uh, the piston, so that I reach equilibrium with the applied pressure of uh, mg divided by the area A of the gas. Uh, so this is the uh, pressure exerted by the piston that should be equal to the pressure uh, of the gas when I reach equilibrium. So there is no other uh, ambient pressure, that's what I'm assuming here. And the work done in doing so is uh, the integral of minus p bar dv from initial state to final state. And that is uh, being done at constant pressure minus mg over a v minus v0. And since the system is thermally insulated, there is no heat exchange. So this must be equal to the change in the internal energy of the gas according to the first law. The internal energy of a gas, uh, of a monatomic ideal gas, is 3 over 2 nu RT. So this is uh, monatomic ideal uh, gas internal energy. And the change in the internal energy is due to the change in the temperature. 3 over 2 nu R T minus T0. That is equal to the work done on the gas. Work done on the gas is mg over a v0 minus v. So uh, I can solve this in terms of uh, temperature. If I also consider the ideal gas law, p bar v should be equal to nu rt. So for the final state, mg over a times v should be equal to nu rt. Using these two equations, I can isolate the temperature and volume and I, I reach the final uh, results, T and V written in terms of T0, V0, the gas constant R, nu, M, A, and uh, G.